as good. Um, so we don't know anything about them really, uh, except that they seem like they're in pretty good condition and they've clearly been handled by humans before. Oh, they're so cute. So I think there's five of them. And they might be a little bit fluffy. Hi, Tiffins, are you going to come out? So we'll just do a quick introduction and meet, and meet them. And then um, I'm going to get them set up somewhere. Probably they would like to meet Grandpa Mason at some point if they seem healthy. So look, they're all coming out. How are you? Oh my goodness. That's great squawk. Four. Let's make my lap bigger. And there's one more. Seven. Oh my gosh, they're very cute. They're pretty clean too. Um, so they look like they're around four weeks old, um, judging by their teeth. Usually they have their full teeth in um, somewhere between four and five weeks. Their eyes are still pretty blue. Someone switched the camera. One's already a little director. So uh, I'm just going to check um, their ears. We'll do a little deworming. See how much they weigh. Um, we're going to name them after flowers in honor of Stan Lily, of course. And um, the snugglers are, are going to name them. So. Oh, look how cute. This one's very cute. This one's like a tabby, a very dark tabby, tuxy, and a little floofy. These are so cute. Look, they're trying to escape. Where are you going? So, um, I'm not going to do too much to them right now because they're they don't seem like they're too bad, but we will get them flea treated and dewormed. Um, their ears are pretty clean. I don't know. Someone took good care of them before the box happened, right? They look pretty cute. So we've got, this is a nice black one, uh, looks like a boy, I think you have two testicles, no it's okay, I think we have two testicles, that's good. This one looks like Puckling from the Canada Kittens, so cute. And you are a girl? Are you a girl? You're so cute. Oh gosh, now everyone's on my laptop. You guys have very subtle, very tiny testicles. So both black ones are boys. We'll have to get a collar for them. They're running away. I don't have it. We've had, we've been, you know, trying to move and get everything set up at the new HQ, and so that means that, and you know, we've had some computer issues, and so I was sort of scrambling to get something put together so that we could actually have them 
set up somewhere. So um, very beautiful. So we have. So this is sort of improvised, but um, seems to be working for the moment. So. All right, your boy, I'm going to put you in here for a minute. I'm going to put some food in there too, so that I don't have kittens everywhere. Since they have teeth, um, and they look, they look old enough to be weaned, maybe that's why they um, ended up being sent somewhere or left somewhere, I guess. Um, so hopefully they will be able to eat, but if not, we will supplement them with bottle feeding. They do have all their teeth though, so that means they're physiologically ready to eat solid foods. Here, I'm gonna put you in here with your brother and you have a snack. And then we'll get these, the rest of these sorted out. This one is a Oh, beautiful little tabby. Are you floofy? I don't think this one is very floofy. I think we have a couple floofy ones and a couple non-floofy ones. This is a girl. She's very beautiful. Her ears look good. Yeah, you have some worms. You probably have a few worms. Your teeth look good. Gums look good. Maybe a little dehydrated. Are you dehydrated? We'll take care of that. Oh no, you can do her. Very cute. So this one's a so we have two boys and a girl so far. Someone's eating in there. One of the black ones is eating. This little mini puckling. So cute. Look at that teeth. You hit gum color. Look at that belly. Oh, some floof. Definitely some floof. Look at those toes. Those little toesies. Nothing like a little kitten therapy after a rough day. Right, kitten? So, um, right, two girls, two boys, and what, and what are you? Oh, look, there's a good look. Look at those fuzzy britches. You're wearing some very floofy, floofy britches. A girl! Yay! Three girls, two boys. So they're clean and they are well fed. You just have to wonder what happened to them and why they ended up in a box by a dumpster. Um, that's never a good, I, I never, never a good solution for unwanted kittens. Um, but at some point in their lives, they were, they were cared for. They have been handled by humans. So um, it's unfortunate that these things happen. And I think if we make it easier to surrender kittens um, and do more raising awareness about why we spay and neuter and about preventing suffering, then hopefully we can see fewer situations like this. Luckily, these guys were found by a good Samaritan and um, you heard them, they were very noisy apparently and found them and um, I like to think Stan Lily was had a, had a paw in it sending them to us because we need to we need to remember that even though we go through the hard times there's a reason for it and we still have a lot of work to do and um, these guys are a great example of us still having a lot of work to do. 
So thankfully these guys will be spayed and neutered and adopted into loving homes and um, look how beautiful you are. They're very cute. So much, so much like the puckling. So um, So, I'm not going to linger too long because I think by this, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear what's going on in there, but some of them are pretty hungry. So, I'm going to get them a space set up. Um, I think I'm going to have to have them in, in my living room at, um, because that's where Mason hangs out. And um, I think they would benefit from having a grandpa Mason. I mean, we all would. Who wouldn't? Oh, she needs to come out and desperate to escape. Um, so I'm going to get that set up, but I'll have the audio off a lot of the time probably when I'm here. So, um, and I might, maybe I'll try to move them to the porch, but um, I don't know. We'll have, Mason doesn't uh, like to go out there if the door is closed, so we'll see how he reacts to having new kittens around. Oh gosh, look at the little piggies there. are. They're so hungry. Are you so hungry? You're the only one who's not interested in your sister wandered off too. You should have a little snack. And now we've got one has wandered all the way across the room. Close up. We'll see how long until someone takes. 